Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2020 film, The Boy Behind the Door. It's a Shutter original film, and it's coming on Thursday, July 29th. And since I'm releasing this review early, no spoilers on this one. Although, it's a very simplistic story for this film. So story-wise, it's going to be spoiled, but all the intricacies of it, and there are some twists, those things will not be revealed. But it's a pretty basic story. It's just how they craft it together and keep you engaged is what kind of sells this film. And for that reason, I would say up front, definitely watch this film. It is 100% worth checking out. I recommend it. So, The Boy Behind the Door is written and directed by David Charbonnier and Justin Powell. I don't know if I got the, those names. Oh, uh, the second name I got right. I don't know if I got the first one. Uh, they've only done one other film called The Djinn, uh, D-J-I-N-N, -N, and I think that's coming out. I don't think it's out yet. Um, but based off what I'm seeing here, directorially, cinematography-wise, lighting, acting, all this stuff, a lot of the technical stuff really comes together to make this a film that truly, truly works. Uh, and like I said, the story's not super intricate or anything. There's not a lot to it. But in order to take a simplistic story like that and make it as engaging as they actually did, that takes a lot of talent and uh, a lot of work. And I, it shows that this duo, this writing and directing duo, has potential staying power, and I'd be very interested to see what they can do in the future. So, synopsis-wise, real quick and easy, two kids, friends, get abducted, taken to a house. That's as much as I'm, as I'm going to give you. Obviously, they try and, you know, escape. That's as much as you get. Does it sound interesting? I'm going to tell you it is interesting. Check it out. It has a very casual beginning that has a really good kind of stinger to it that sets up the overall tone of the film going forward from there. So I do like their kind of little intro scene. And then they kind of go back in time to kind of be like, how did we get here? Uh, and it works. It works. The camera work does a good job of reflecting the mental states of characters at times. And it really does help to enhance the experience for viewers. And what I mean by that is, you know, like instances of... There's one in particular where, you know, something's crazy is going on. You can tell that the character's head is kind of spinning and the, the camera is actually spinning around that character. And that's just what I mean of the camera work from a visual perspective, really reflecting the mental state of the character. And I feel like very good directors do that type of stuff. And then as an audience member, you can really feel it. It helps you connect with that character more, get inside of their head and really feel what they're feeling at that point. So it works really well. And they do that a few times. Nice use of no music at times and good sound design as well. Those things coming together to kind of t make tense moments significantly more tense. And overall, I think that tension is maintained very, very well within this film. Pretty much, I I'm not even going to say pretty much throughout. Throughout the film, tension is maintained pretty much. I literally just said I wasn't going to say pretty much, but I did. Throughout this film, tension is maintained. <laughs> habits, man. Old habits. Um, yeah, and it, it's crazy because how many films do you know that set up something tense and then that tension never truly goes away? This film does that, and that's a big achievement in my opinion. I really enjoy that about it. So if you're looking for a, a tense ride, this is that for you. There's something that happens about 20 minutes in that's a nice little surprise that I didn't see coming, uh, and it really does make you wonder, okay, you know, where is this going? Because prior to that, you kind of feel like, oh, I get what they're going to do with this, uh, and then this thing happens, and you're just like, oh, you know, I didn't see that coming, so um, where do we go from here? And that's the thing. It drives interest around every turn, basically. It's, it's, like I said, it's not super intricate or anything. It's a simplistic story, and we've all seen this type of story before. It's just, how do they do it? What is their take on it? How do they get from point A to point B? That's the ride, and it's done in a fun way. There's a good moment they show something to the audience that a main character does not see. This is a great kind of uh-oh realization moment for the audience members. I love those types of things in films especially if they're done properly, where it's like, just going to show the audience this thing, and now you know the character doesn't know anything about it, so you, you're just like, oh no. So uh, it just kind of 
also helps with upping that tension as well because as the characters kind of going about their business trying to do one thing they're totally unaware of something else that's going on and i'm trying to be careful with that i don't want to give anything away in a way the film is slow but it maintains tension so well that it doesn't really feel like it's slow it's truly one of those films where you're engaged and it doesn't feel like it's slow, but if you really step back from it and take a look from, you know, a more macro perspective, you can see it actually kind of is a slow film to a degree, but it just doesn't feel that way. So it's great. The other thing is it's only an hour and 28 minutes with credits and everything, so good runtime. I don't really see many opportunities that they could have cut you know, edited it down much, and it doesn't really feel like it needs it. So they did a good job with the runtime on that. Um, about 50 minutes in, there's a slight twist that I thought was kind of interesting. It doesn't, it does change the dynamics of what's going on with the story. But once again, like, it's, it's not something super crazy. It doesn't add a ton to the story. It does change certain aspects of the story, though. So it is a nice twist. It is interesting. Uh, I did enjoy that. So really kind of two twists in the film. One on the earlier end, one on the later end. Um, pretty good. The entire film is dark. As it, well, I mean, material-wise it's dark. But as in the lighting-wise, it is dark. But there aren't many moments, that, and when the moments happen, they're just like super brief, where you can't see what you're trying to see. So for the most part, I mean, pretty much... Overall, they did a really good job with keeping the lighting a good way, especially when the whole film is supposed to be in the dark. So, I cite this all the time. It's nothing like a film like Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which is a mess because you cannot see anything in that film because it is so dark, and I cannot watch that film for that reason. I like the first one. Uh, and the last thing I have to say about this film is shout-outs to Lonnie Chavis and Ezra Dewey, the two main boys who who were uh, who played the main characters in this film. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent job with those roles. Child actors is always very hit or miss, and even when it's like a good job, I feel like that's most common where it's like they did a good job. It usually doesn't cross over into that it's an excellent job territory. Lonnie and Ezra crossed over into that excellent job territory. They did a wonderful, wonderful job, and shout out to them for that. Great actors, and I'd be interested to see where they go from here. So yeah, uh, so obviously I enjoyed this film. I am recommending it. Everyone should check it out. Uh, out of five stars, with half stars in play, I'm going to give it a very solid three and a half star rating. I was between three and a half and four, but I just don't think it feels like it's got quite enough to get me to the four, but I considered it. So three and a half considered for. So just know that. And if you are very familiar with my rating scale, you know that that's a definite C or a must see. So anyway, go ahead and put some comments down there. If you've seen this film at this point, or if you go and watch it and then come back, put some comments down there. You can do spoilers in the comments. That's fine. We'll talk about it. Uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, Big thank you to you. You're helping keep me motivated to do these videos. If you haven't, it is quick, it is painless, it costs you nothing, and it means a lot to me personally. It really does. So if you've liked any video I've ever done, this one included, please hit that subscribe. Also hit the notification bell button, because then you'll know when I'm putting up new videos like this one or my spoiler-packed analysis film uh, reviews or unboxings, haul videos, all that jazz. But regardless, I really do thank you for taking your time to watch this. It means a lot to me. And until next time, keep it brutal.